Hi there! Are you looking to buy a big smart TV for your home but the price is carrying you away? Well, Xiaomi has launched too the 49 inch Full HD TV for $29,999 and the 55 inch 4K smart TV for $39,999. I've individually done review videos for both these devices. I'll leave the link in the description. Do check them out. So, coming back to the big TVs, which one of these should you buy? Well, in this video, we are going to do a side by side comparison of the two. So, continue watching this video. This is your friend Tech Singh. Let's get started. Both these devices are mostly similar, but they do have their key differences. We'll start with noting down the differences. So of course, first is the size, the 55 inches, 55 inches diagonally and the 49 inches, 49 inches diagonally. The resolution of the 55 inch is 3840 by 2160 pixels, but of the 49 inch is 1920 by 1080 pixels. The 55 inch is a 4K TV, while the 49 inch is a Full HD TV. The 55 inch supports both Wi-Fi 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, while the 49 inch supports only 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. The price of the 55 inch is 39,999 and the price of the 49 inch is 29,999. And now here are the similarities. Amlogic quad-core CPU, 2GB RAM and 8GB internal storage, Bluetooth 4.2, Android TV OS Oreo, Chromecast support, 20 watt stereo speakers and no 3.5mm audio headphone jack. Let's start with the build quality. Here are both the TVs side by side. You can already see a noticeable size difference. Both the devices have extremely slim bezels, the 49 inch Pro has matte flat bezels and the 55 inch 4X Pro has glossy grey round bezels. Both look nice, but I'll give the edge to the 55 inch. They look more appealing and different, though the 49 inch look more classy. The stands are good quality plastic and match the color of the bezels. The back is mostly plastic. Overall build quality on both is impressive. The port placement on both are at the exactly same places. On the right, you have three HDMIs, two USB and antenna, and on the back, you have SPDIF, AV input and ethernet. Ports on the right are easily accessible on both, but the ports behind are very inconvenient if the device is wall mounted. Both these Mi TVs are quite big. Table mounting them means you'll need bigger tables. I highly recommend you wall mount these TVs so that you save some space. So here are the remotes for both the Mi TVs. They look absolutely identical to each other. They are Bluetooth enabled and have Google Voice search on them. Let's turn them on and see which one boots faster. So the 49 inch did boot a tad faster though the difference was negligible. Before we compare, let's make sure the picture display settings are the same. Standard and with backlight 100. Let's compare the displays. Here is a 4K YouTube video sample. Both the devices I have are IPS panels. The 49 inch has a full HD display while the 55 inch is a 4K display. There is a noticeable difference between the two. The 49 inch is a lot brighter compared to the 55 inch, while the 55 inch has more accurate color reproduction and detail. The viewing angles on both are excellent. Blacks look deeper on the 55 inch. 4K YouTube videos run smoothly, no lag or drop frames. The 4K display on the 55 inch Pro is better than the 49 inch, but only when compared side by side. Overall, the display of the 49 inch is equally impressive. Let's compare the picture quality from the setup box. First SD channels, then HD channels. SD channels look good on both. Absolutely viewable and surprisingly even on a 4K display. With DNR, digital noise reduction, even HD channels look crisp and sharp. HD channels look stunning on both devices. Colors look vivid, text is sharp. I highly recommend you have an HD setup box if you are having either of these devices to enjoy a good viewing experience. HD channels look almost identical on both, but I'll give the edge to the 55 inch Pro. Even though the reception from the setup box is full HD, I can still see more details in the image from the 55 inch Pro. Let's play a 4K video file from our pen drive and compare the picture quality. Playing MKV and MP4 4K files and they played flawlessly on both devices. No drop frames or any lag. Yes, the 4K TV had better details in the images but wasn't like jaw dropping better compared to the 49 inch Pro.
The 55 inch 4X Pro is a 4K TV, but no apps apart from YouTube support 4K streaming. Unfortunately, no Netflix or Amazon Prime support yet. Yes, you can sideload them and they work fine, but they don't support 4K. So what is the point of having a 4K TV? But Amazon Prime has officially been promised to all the Mi TVs. So hopefully when that official support comes, we will be able to stream 4K. Netflix, no official support. The other option is that you can get an Amazon 4K Fire Stick which costs around 6000 rupees which you can attach to the 4K TV and it will stream Netflix official app 4K also Amazon Prime at 4K which is great but it's a 6000 rupee hefty investment but until you can't wait for the official support for these apps the Amazon 4K Fire Stick will be helpful coming to the operating system both the devices are running the exact same Android TV Oreo OS with patchwall integrated the OS is equally responsive and fast on both. Google Play Store has tons of apps and games. Patchwall keeps adding content, some of which you'll need subscription and some is free. Patchwall has a new white interface which gives it a fresh look and runs smoothly on both. The Android TV user experience is absolutely identical, clean and ease of use. Now let's compare the sound quality. The sound on both the TVs get quite loud. The sound quality on the 55 inch is mostly flat and very little bass, while the 49 inch has more richer sound and decent bass. There you see, much flatter. I can easily say the sound quality on the 49 inch Pro is better between the two. So finally, which one of these two should you pick if you're looking to buy a big TV? Well firstly, if you want a big TV, make sure you have a decently big room. Do not try to cramp an extremely big screen in a small room. And also make sure the distance where you sit and the screen should be good enough so that you have a good viewing experience. So I recommend a minimum of 6 feet of distance between the screen and yourself for a 49 inch and a minimum 7 to 8 feet distance if you're looking to buy a 55 inch TV. Then deciding between 4K and Full HD, well that's a no-brainer, 4K TV is always recommended. But then the deciding factor is the price. The 49 inch Full HD TV is for 29,999, yes 30,000 and the 55 inch Mi TV is for 39,999 which is 40,000 rupees. Now the difference between the two is 10,000 and you're the best judge. You have to decide what's more important for you, 10,000 rupees? Well, the 49 inch TV is not bad. It has amazing brightness. The brightness levels are far higher than the 55 inch. But of course, it doesn't have the color gamut as much as the 55 inch has. But of course, if you're going to save that 10,000, it's not a bad option because anyway, we don't have many apps for 4K as of now. So it's a good option to save that 10,000. But if you're buying a 55 inch, you're future proofing yourself because you know in future we're going to have set up boxes which are going to be 4K, which already are 4K actually. We're going to have Netflix support and maybe Amazon Prime. YouTube is already there and maybe more apps with 4K. So spending that 10,000 now extra will make sure that you future proof your device. So both these devices are great. Both devices are recommended. No problem with either of these devices. The deciding factor is totally on to you whether you want a 4K or an HD you want to save 10,000 or you can spend that little extra so I'll leave the link in the description for both the TVs and the 4k Amazon Fire Stick if you like to buy one do check them out I've also made a video on how to install apps on your Mi TVs for apps that are not available on the Play Store like the Netflix app the Amazon Prime Geo Cinema and many more so this is going to be a very useful video I'll leave the video link as well in the description do check them out it's going to really help you exploit the full potential of your smart TVs. So I hope this video was helpful. Write on in the comments and give me your feedback about this video. Also, if there are any more video ideas, do mention them down in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, share this video and subscribe to my channel for many more videos like these. Also, don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notifications when new videos are uploaded. Until next time, cheers.